Hello. Welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. It is your inner peace on weekend. It's a good time to start yourself a brand new week. So let's end our own weekend with our meditation and start new one with meditation as well. So everyone, I'm sorry for a little bit delay. It's just that I look looking at my watch, which is a little bit faster. I mean, uh, <clears throat> wrong time. So that's why I miscalculated the time. But anyway, now I'm here. I'm sure you are having a good time meditating by yourself over the week. So how are you, everyone? Have you been practicing meditation regularly? If you are, well, let's see how it goes in our meditation. So everyone, please do our routine checkup. If you are new, don't, don't worry. Please at least introduce yourself, telling us your name, your local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from so I can get to know you better. And now, for our newcomer, since our time is a little bit delayed because of uh, my broadcasting, still, we are here and I hope we are enjoy our meditation together again today. Let's see who's uh, joining us today now. It seems there are seven people, but let's see how many. Hello, Andy. Sorry that I um, didn't get to contact you earlier. It's quite busy this, uh, this week because I have to prepare for the upcoming trip. I'm going to uh, South Africa about two weeks for international ordination program in South Africa. Still, hopefully we can keep in touch. Hello, Diane. Hello, Mr. Shi. See you in December. And hello, Miss Rita. If I have a chance to visit Australia, I will make sure to contact you and let you know that. But still, thank you very much for joining us. Hello, April. Good talking to you. I got the answer, but I just haven't had time to prepare the answer and write it to you. But still, I'll get back to you on that. And now, Mr. Nick. I love to go to, go to Hong Kong again. But hopefully in the future, I will have a chance to do the retreat in Hong Kong as well. Anyway, I hope we're going to have a good meditation. And so please allow me a few minutes of our time on this broadcasting introduced meditation for those who are new to our middle way meditation. So in a peace Sunday is like a meditation club for those who are interested to practice meditation from across the whole world. If you have time on your Sunday, it is the time for you to enjoy your inner peace together with everyone else across the whole world. So Inner Peace Sunday is the place where you can also find your time to meditate together at the same time, same place in Facebook. And so everyone, hello Mr. Go, haven't seen you in a while. Anyway, I will hope, hope to see you when I go to Brunei on uh, December. Okay? And so, for our practice of the middle way meditation, hmm, we focusing our mind in this place the center of the body, which can be located by using two finger place them above your navel. And by that, you will feel, you will see that above your finger right here, in there, inside your body, of course, that will be the place. It will be around your stomach. Hello, Samantha, good to see you. Well, 2.30, well, that's good. It's still in the daytime, rather than at the nighttime. If it's nighttime, it will be difficult to get up. Oh, where am I? Okay, here, yeah, the center of the body. Thank you very much for telling me the information. Well, the center of the body itself, this is where we're going to focus. Of course, to maintaining that, we need to do something, right? Otherwise, we will lose our focus. And so, the middle way meditation proposed two method in order to practice to help you maintain your focus. One, you visualize an object of your own, something that you are familiar. But since it's an inner peace Sunday, you can visualize the sun. It's easier, right? Because we have the same sun everywhere under the sky. Or, if you like, you could do something like visualize the moon, something natural, I mean some, something neutral that don't make you think or create emotion, something that is good for you, that don't make you uh, very, uh, that make you feel peaceful, 
or happy, something like that. Okay, but if you visualize someone's face, I won't recommend because sometimes it may make you think about them. So that's cut uh, unable to focus easily. Or if you feel that visualization is not the way, you can use the mantra. It's a tradition passed in our temple, Samma Arahang here. Mantra Samma Arahang come from two words as you may see on the screen. Purity or purify is the meaning of Samma. Arahang is mean freedom from the negative thought. If you like this, therefore, this can help you to help you calm your mind whenever you have thoughts arise during the meditation time. You can either just repeat them at your own pace or until there are no more thoughts, however you feel like. But make sure you do it on the basis of your own freedom without forcing your mind. And when combine these two terms together, it means purity and freedom from the negative thoughts. And so everyone, Samma Arahang is the key. If you like this mantra, feel free to use, of course, free of charge. Now, during meditation, as me and everyone else in our temple will instruct that you must telling people this is the way of our master. When you meditate, don't try too hard, that's wrong. Try it in a manner that you are comfortable and relaxed. If you meditate putting too much effort, it won't work. I did the same thing. You know, during the time when I was in the retreat, I, I, I marked myself this evening, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meditate three hours straight. I set this determination in my mind. So I take a shower from the, uh, around 6 o'clock, cool myself, making myself dry and ready. I went into the cafeteria, drink enough refreshment so that way I won't feel hungry. And before I'm going to go to meditation room, I use toilet, everything, so that way I'm ready. So when I get in there at 7 o'clock, the minute I'm sit, the minute I sat, close my eyes, I feel like I'm hitting the wall. I've been done this for almost two hours, and I feel like, hey, this is not right. So I went there, I get out, and I still feel stuck, like I'm hitting the wall. And then, a day, many days after that, I went to consult this with my meditation tutor, those who have more experience than me. So I asked him, I'm doing this. What did I do wrong? I get myself ready, everything. I feel calm and relaxed. He just smiled and said, well, you feel you're hitting the wall and unable to go on, right? Yes. You just try a little bit too hard. In fact, too hard, not a little bit. So I'm like, really? I'm just preparing myself and getting ready to go there. That's too much. Putting too much effort in meditation could result you in hitting the wall too. So be careful in this part. So four things that you need to do during meditation are relax, being conscious of mindfulness, observe and consistent in your meditation. These are what you need to do. Okay? These are the principality or the principle of our middle way meditation. Whenever you meditate, make sure you have this false thing in your meditation. Otherwise, you cannot go on. At the beginning, you must start with relaxation and comfortable feeling. In Thailand, they call sabai sabai. Yeah. When you have this, next, when you close your eyes, be mindful, maintain your mindfulness through the rest of the meditation. If you lost your mindfulness, your mind could be anywhere. That's unable to focus, or even worse, you lose yourself and falling asleep, which is not the way we are doing. And through the rest of the meditation, when you gain relax and mindfulness as your foundation in meditation, you need to observe whether you are still relaxed or not. 
If you're losing it, you could feel like me, hitting the wall, unable to go on, stuck, or even worse, you're falling asleep, and then wasting the time on the meditation. And when you observe, observe what? How you do it? In the past year, I used to tell you that, do do to do that. But when I meditate more now, I was told and uh, confirmed by my meditation tutor that when you observe in meditation, during meditation, of course, let me emphasize on meditation, during meditation, when you meditate, make sure you observe whether you are comfortable. This is enough. You don't need to observe how you do, how you start. After the meditation, when you write down your meditation experience, then you will begin to recall and observe yourself. How did you do it to maintain your comfortable feeling? Okay. So during meditation, let me understand. Let me let we are understand together and the same thing that observe whether we are feeling comfortable or not. If we are maintaining it, if we are not, start over. And last is consistent. Maintain this over and over, no matter how long it's gonna take. If you don't feel comfortable, start over. If you can feel comfortable, maintain it, consistent, relax, mindful, and observe. In this way, you shall progress in meditation. And so, everyone, I hope we are having a good time meditation, meditating together. Well, are you all ready? Let me see. Hello, Nina. Good to see you. Haven't seen you two weeks. Oh, I've been busy, huh? Hey, Alan, my own friend, own pal from high school. Have you been meditating with me today? If you are, give me some signal, all right, my friend? Anyway, we hope we're gonna have a good meditation together. Before we start in a few minutes, everyone, check yourself three things. You know, right? One, you need to use restroom, do it now. Two, need to call someone, do it now. If not, turn off your mobile phone so it won't disturb our meditation today. And last but not least, make sure your room and the place where you are meditating are suitable and ready so that way it won't disturb your mind during meditation. Okay? So if you are ready, okay, Mr. She ready, Nick, you are ready, Miss Crompton ready, and Mr. Go ready, then we shall start our meditation, everyone. So give me one minute to adjust our background noise, okay? All right. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's begin our meditation. Close your eyes. Relax your mind and body. Adjusting yourself, sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position where you won't feel any tension on your body. Relax very truly. Begin from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Loose your eyelids. Don't use your eyes or squeezing your eyes during the meditation. Relax all the muscles in your face, all the way down 
to your neck and your shoulder. Adjusting your back and body properly, free from all the tension you might have. Relax further down to your legs, your knees, and all the way to your feet completely, making your whole body feeling most comfortable during the meditation. Spend this few moment adjusting your body. When you are done, let's move on to adjust your mind. Empty your mind, putting down everything aside for this moment. The time for yourself, the time for your mind, and the time for the meditation. Begin adjusting your mind by take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Clear your thoughts and worry at the same time while you breathing it out. Then imagine that yourself is alone in this place, in a place that you like to be by yourself without anyone to disturb or bother you. A place of your own making you feel relaxed, comfortable, light and empty by just sitting there all alone. Then allow your mind slowly coming back to your body. Your mind is like a feather floating down into your body and generally rest inside yourself around your abdomen. Observe the mind through your feeling. Feeling that the mind is resting around your abdomen or anywhere that you feel comfortable to rest the mind inside yourself. Maintain the focus at the center by lightly imagine. Imagine the sun shine at the center and observe the sun peacefully. Maintain relaxation, both body and mind. Should the thought arise, don't worry. Let it go 
and let it in without following your thoughts. Convince yourself that you are an observer, not a director. Observe your mind. Observe the sun calmly, peacefully. Or if you like, you could repeat or recite the mantra in your mind at your own pace. Don't rush the mind or forcing yourself during the meditation because by nature of our mind is enjoy the sense of freedom. So relax, observe the sun and repeat the mantra slowly. And the mantra is Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Continue to observe the sun and repeat the mantra until your mind has calmed down or you feel like you don't need to use the mantra anymore. So let's take our time Finding ourselves in a peace in this moment for a little while until the appropriate time.
feeling. Stay at the center as long as you can. The mind that still will find itself as the home or the center of your body. Finding yourself to love and care for yourself by bringing the mind to its home at the center. When your mind be still, the peace will arise from the relaxation at the center of your body. The mind that finds peace will find itself find its place to expand to other so sharing yourself, your peace, your love and kindness, sharing your feeling to all the people that you love and care for. Begin with yourself, then share it to your family, your friends, and all the people in your neighborhood, your hometown, your home country, and the whole world. Let there be peace everywhere inside this world. Let's share our peace to all the people and all the beings in this world for a little while.
Take a deep breath. Slowly breathing it out. Feel the mind at the center of your body. Relax very truly. Maintain the comfortable feeling. Stay at the center as long as you can. Then slowly and gently open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you finding yourself in a peace with me today. Hello, Miss Anne. Good to see you. Wow, this time you are in Kentucky. <laughs> well, nice to hear that from you. Hope you have a safe trip and enjoy your trip over there. Now, please do our routine sharing us our meditation experience but if you don't feel open to share don't worry you can send a message direct to me and I'll get back to you whenever I see it. so everyone if you are new don't worry I will tell you how to for those who already know please for those who are able to relax leave the comment as one for those who are able to experience body disappear so much relax that you don't feel your body, even though for just a few seconds or few minutes of the time, that's considered as good and good progress. Two. Hello, Mr. Go. That's very good. Very fast too. And if you experience inner light that arises when you are stilling your mind correctly through relaxation while maintain your mindfulness, leave the comment as three. And anything else? Beyond this, what I mentioned, leave the comment as for explain and I'll get back to you. Hello, Andy, just one. Hmm, study hard maybe. Miss Compton, two. Diane, two. Nina, two. That's good. Cheryl, it's been a while. <laughs> one. Miss Lita, one. Okay. Well, almost miss it, but hey, you know, it's still never too late to join. So, great to have you back. Crum Miss Crumpton, that's very good. You seem to have this all the time. That's really good. Samantha, two. Miss April, one. Yes, I know, you relax a lot on the beach. Oh well, monkey my, of course. On the beach, who else? Who won't be, you know? <laughs> anyway, still, if you can find yourself in the comfortable and relaxed, even for just a few minutes of your time that is not bad is considered as good because this will be the foundation for you to increase your firmness in relaxation so if you can do this every time and maintain this you have to observe yourself too how long did you able to relax five days if you do this just one day the next day you come again it could be increased but if you do more often if even longer so you have to check very truly how often you have increased okay so um if my uh my partner i don't say i shouldn't say partner my uh, staff my team come back from her trip maybe we're gonna do the meditation experience form that allow you to uh to to write down and then send it to me to see our progress so that's where I can keep the record and giving you uh, advice appropriately. Okay. Hello, what's the, uh, what do we have, Miss Nick? 
starting to be able to get to let go of any thought disturb the meditation progress. Very good. Well, you see, if you do this every day, you begin to bring your mind, your awareness back to yourself. And as the result, you being more aware of yourself more. When you have yourself aware more, whatever you observe, whatever you feel, you begin to notice. Before, before you meditate, you may not even know about yourself, whether you are sitting, you're feeling pain or not. But when you bring your attention back to yourself, you begin to feel and experience many things. This is one of the things that you will be able to observe and progress. But what's more is, after you experience yourself, what you feel, then you will be able to know yourself, how to control your mind, your thoughts, and treat and train yourself for being a better person. This is one of the benefits of meditation, okay? Anyway, before I kind of forget what our wisdom today is, yes, here, loss and gain, okay? I'm sure many of us in our daily life, we may forget about ourselves. We just focus on making a living on work, family, friends, school, a lot of things in our mind, in our life that we have to experience on each day. So that's sometimes good, sometimes bad. That is loss and gain. But however, have you ever thought about yourself at all when you are working? Of course, those who are very determined to be progressed, promoting, they tend to forget about themselves. They just only forget on their work, success. So let's hear out the story of loss and gain. How can we learn from it? And how can we use it as our stepping stone to improve ourselves for the better? Loss and gain. Once upon a time, there was a man, a business man, who was very, very, very successful. However, at one time only, he made a mistake. And he lost everything. He lost his own fortune. He had to sell his own house, his car, all his possession, just in order to pay off the debt that he may have lost in his uh, lost. However, he thinks so many times about escaping, but he still have his companion, a dog that he been racing since it was still a puppy. He stay with him wherever he sat, wherever he go, wherever he do. The dog is his only best friend. So that's, he has a dog to comfort him whenever he feel down. But one day on his journey, he was visiting the village, one of the village far, far from the city in the, in the middle of nowhere, where he can find peace, escaping from all the debt because he don't have anything to pay off the debt anymore. But the debt collector is still looking for him, so he tried to hide and run away from that. But still, because he has a dog, he still has a will to go on. But without a dog, he may have a lot of thoughts of killing himself, escaping this debt. And so on at night, he has only a book with him and a dog. On that night, it was very cold, so he was only with a dog but he don't have anything to lit the fire to fuel. So he has only the book that he has. So he tear off one page, page by page, to keep himself warm in the middle of the night until the light has gone and he falling asleep, no more book for him to read. He slept without knowing anything. But then when he woke up in the morning, he found the dog that was with him was killed and murdered. He was so upset and very sad and angry at the same time, unable to express his own emotion with this loss. So thus, he thought only one thing, the answer in his mind. He wanted to suicide or kill himself, escape from this grief. But then he found something around him when he looked around. The whole village that he was staying over that night, 
it was so quiet, just like in the middle of the night. So he went to look from each house, from each house in the whole village. He found that many people in the village were murdered. So he has concluded that last night there must be last night there must be a bandit come to rob the whole village, and there has been murder all the village people in that village. So thus, he begin to look back in himself, appreciate that he is still a lucky person that's being alive. So thus, when he gain this confidence that he is a lucky person that he's still alive, he begin to gain the hope that hey, at least I still have myself. I must continue to live on for these people who were, who was murdered and my who were murdered and my dog too. So that's I still have hope. Why should I give up now? And so everyone, sometimes when we are so much focused in our work, forget about about ourselves and family. Sometimes we may have been disappointed and lost with because of our work and many things. But hey, you know, life is a gift. Life is precious. As long as we are alive, we still have many opportunity to start over because it's not about just success in our life. It is about our own peace and happiness that we are experiencing in the moment too. So if you're ever feeling lost or sad, don't give up because we still have our body and mind to starting over. Meditation too. Whenever you meditate, it always new. But it's giving us more opportunity to experience many new things in our meditation. So don't give up whenever you meditate and when you gain inner peace. The happiness that arises from your stillness or in your relaxation during meditation will be a fuel or fire in your mind that encourage you to move on and appreciate, and appreciate your precious life moment even better from today. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoy our Inner Peace Sunday together. And I hope to see you again next Sunday. However, if you are new and don't know whether how you're going to start, you can check on our Facebook Live or in our, face, uh, our YouTube page, uh, in our YouTube channel, Great Teaching Monk, for the own record of video and how to meditate properly. And so everyone, I hope you enjoy your new week and don't forget to meditate regularly. If you like this program where we can find our inner peace together every weekend on Sunday, don't forget to like and share. Sharing is great. Don't keep this to yourself. Thank you.